To add your email to your tablet, your own personal email, you can do that by going to the home screen of your tablet. You get to the home screen by pressing on this button here, this very small circle button. If you press on that, you'll automatically get to the home screen. I'm already there. But you can tell you're at the home screen because home is yellow and underlined here at the top. Now you're going to look for your email icon. It looks like an envelope with a piece of paper popping out of it. Click on that. Now you'll see the email screen for the email that was assigned to you for your tablet, but you can change it. Up here next to where you see Gmail inbox, you're going to click on those three lines. And then down in the list on the left-hand corner, you should see Add Account. Tap on Add Account. At this point, you'll be in the Add Account screen. You'll see a blinking cursor right here underneath Email Address. The tablet is looking for you to enter in your personal email address, the one that you would like to add to your tablet. So if you tap next to that blinking cursor, a keyboard should appear down at the bottom of the screen. You can use these keys to enter in your email address. So I'm going to type in the email that I would like to add to my tablet and then press on the check mark here and it will be added. You'll see now an authorized account screen appears at the top. It says authorized account and depending upon what your what type of email you're adding, you'll get a screen that is confirming the email address. So I added a Google account, Gmail, so it's just confirming that that is the correct address and I choose next. And now on the subsequent screen, it's looking for me to enter in the password. So I'm going to use my email password. Oops, sorry. And I click on next. And now Amazon is looking to gain access to my Google account, which I am going to click on the allow button. And now it's setting up my account and you'll see at the top, it should say set up complete. And I click on go to inbox and there are all the emails for that new account that I just added. Now to move in between both accounts, I can click on that three lines next to Gmail inbox. And now you'll see the first email that was assigned to you and your email that you just added. So there's two options. I can go back and forth. You'll see if I change to this email account, I have all the emails that have come into that. If I click on those three lines and go to the second email account, the list changes to just the, those that were received in that box. So hopefully that makes sense. If you would like to delete either of the accounts, I can select one, excuse me, go into settings and select one and choose delete account from device and then choose OK. And now I'm back to just one email account. If I press on the go to home button and open up my email, I only have that one account. If I select those three lines, I only see that one account. Hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to call the Needham Community Council at 781-444-2415 and ask for the tablets and tutors line. Thank you so much. Good luck.